Hi, Stephen DeGrasse here, known as Ask One Mac Tech. In this video, we're going to set up a client to talk to the Monkey server. And I'm going to tell it to install some software. And this iMac that I have is in need of updates. So, we're going to, this will be perfect to show you exactly how it's going to communicate to the Monkey server and how we're going to use Monkey Admin. So, what we're going to do on the um, monkey admin here. We're going to create a new manifest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to go new manifest. Okay, so say like you're creating this for a new lab or for faculty and staff, you know, so uh, for new user. But this one's going to be for this client here for this iMac. So we're going to we're going to call it test iMac. Test dash iMac. Oops, did that wrong. Typed in my Mac. There you go. And we are going to save it. It's going to save in here to the manifest. So we're going to save. And then what we're going to do is come over here and create a catalog, a new catalog for it. And we're just going to name it the same thing. So we're going to be test dash iMac. I'm going to hit create. Okay, so over here we're going to make catalogs. We're going to run, run make catalogs. This is what you would do in the command line, but since we're using the GUI, it's it, it just, just a click of a button. And then save. So now we should have a catalog called test iMac and a manifest. They're all empty, right? Because now we got to put some installs in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the packages. So this is what we have right now. Now let's reload and see if we have anything else. Anything came in. Okay. So this is what we have in our in the packages area, our installers. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to uh, testing. Um, don't know why my catalog disappeared here. It's kind of weird. Go back here. And let's go check it out and see if it's here. It's kind of odd. Catalogs. Oh, it disappeared. Maybe I didn't save it. Well, let's make it again. New catalog. Test dash back. Okay, create. And let's make and save. Okay, so there's our catalog. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the software that we want. So what we're going to we're going to want we're going to want update Skype, Office, Chrome, Firefox, of course Adobe Flash Player. <laughs> so th just these, okay? It's not even going to look at uh, this other software. It's just going to look at these. That's all we want. So this is our catalog. It's going to look at the catalog. It's going to say, okay, this is the list. This is the like kind of like when you look in the magazine, you know, you're looking at the catalog, it's a list of items. That's what it's going to look, that's what it's looking at. It's a list of items. If you uncheck the Adobe Flash Player, it's not even going to look at it. Even if you put the installer in the manifest, it's, it's not even going to recognize it. So you want to make sure you have this checked. So we're going to come over here to the manifest. And we're going to go to here to installs. And we're going to hit the plus sign right down here. And we're going to check uh, Adobe Flash Player, Firefox, Chrome. Oh, let me do this over again, sorry. Hit the plus sign, individual. Okay. Um, Skype. Come on, computer's a little bit slow. Do, uh, Office updates, Chrome, and uh, Firefox, and Adobe Flash Player. These are individual installs. I know I'm out of date with Chrome and all these. So I'm going to hit Add to Selected. Oh, my computer is slow. So now what we're going to do is hit Make and Save. OK. So now we got our catalog, which we have a list here that we, we have the list of software we want installed. We want this installed. Now we have to go put the installers in the manifest. 
physically, put them in there, boom, 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 and uh, hit make and save. All right, so we, that's it. Basically, that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the client. All right. And I apologize for the train, if you hear that train, if it's loud. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the managed uh, plist file, the manage install plist file. And so I have um, a little document over here. So I'm going to type this guy in, create the file. Now I've created a file, uh, a file earlier, but I'm going to go in and delete it so we can create it fresh. And it's right here. And guess what? We're going to hit Command Delete, password. Okay, gone. It's over. It's done. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit, we're going to uh, launch terminal. And so we're going to create this file that's going to allow our clients to communicate to the monkey server to look at the, the repo and uh, look at the manifest. And we're going to tell it to install Apple software updates. That's all we're going to tell it to do. So we're going to type in sudo defaults right, right here sudo defaults right forward slash library forward slash preferences forward slash manage installs and then of course uh, software update repo and then our ad server address right here and just to show you how that works it's going to be forward slash root uh, mac hd to the libraries to preferences and then the file the uh, manage install plist is going to be created in here so let's do this. So we're going to type in sudo, and bear with me, I'm not the best typer. sudo defaults right. Slash library. Oops, see, it told you. Forward slash. Slash manage installs. Space where repo URL. Okay, just like that. So we got uh, pseudo defaults right forward slash library forward slash preferences forward slash manage install space software repo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit. Um, space again, I'm going to put quotes there, and we're going to put in our server address. So it's going to be your server address, okay, where your uh, monkey repo is, your, your um, what you call, uh, let me show you, just where you have your, you're using server app, if you're using server app, where uh, the address, where websites here, where your server address is, where you have this enabled on the server app, okay? Collapse that. So I'm going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mask one Mac tech dash server dot local. All right. I'm going to pull this out just a little bit more so it looks better. All right. So double check. Always double check. And it, so we don't have to type this again. We're just going to copy and paste this right here. Make it easier. And it looks good. Looks good. So we're going to hit return. It's going to should ask us for a password. And it does. So we're going to type in our password. Okay. So now we have it. It's going to go check our uh, monkey server at this address, at your server address. Now we're going to do. Uh, the faults right again, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, say look at the client identifier. So what we're gonna do is hit Command V because we copied it, and space, and we're gonna type in client client identifier identifier space, and now we're gonna put this in quotes, 
And since I named my manifest, I'm going to come back here, and I named my manifest test iMac. That's what we're going to put in there, test iMac. So test dash iMac quotes. Okay. Now double check. Make sure you, if you're typing this in, always double check. Double check it. Looks good. And we're going to hit return. Okay. So next, we're going to tell it to install Apple software updates. Okay. So we're going to hit Command V space install Apple software updates space true. True means it's going to, you're telling it to go install Apple software updates. Okay. That's what you want it to do. If you, if you said false, then it won't even check. Okay. And that's it. This is just the basics. So then we're going to hit return. All right. So now bring this right over here. We're going to go and look at the, look at the uh, file that we created. So it's going to be your hard drive, the root, libraries, preferences, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look right here. Hit the space bar. You can get a preview. And so here, client identifier is test iMac right here. Client identifier, test iMac. Test iMac is on the monkey, uh, on the, uh, what we created here. Test iMac. So it's going to look and say, oh, I need Skype. I need Office. I need Chrome. I need uh, Firefox. And I need Adobe Flash Player. Okay. And it's going to look at the catalogs. Make sure that these are checked because if these are not, if, if this wasn't checked, that was unchecked, it won't even look at Adobe Flash Player, even if it was in the manifest. Okay? But we want that checked. So we're going to collapse this, Oops, collapse that. Install Adobe Software Updates, true. That's what we're telling it. And here's the software repo URL, and it's going to the address. Okay, so next, and I already did this ahead of time, what you want to do is install Monkey Tools. You can install Monkey or Monkey 2, uh, and I'm using Monkey 2 because I love the, um, I'll show you what it looks like, but um, the, uh, the uh, nice little um, uh, managed software center with the uh, icons and everything looks pretty sweet. It looks really cool. I'll show you that. But uh, yeah, so you want to install this. And uh, once you do that, it's going to ask the restart, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I already installed this and simply restarted it, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell uh, the client to go check in to the monkey server that we have configured here on this server, on this computer with server app, with it configured on monkey here, okay? It's going to go check in. So what, how you need to do that is just copy this code right here, this right here, and then you're telling it to go check at install at startup. So basically all you have to do is just put this in the terminal, copy and paste in the terminal, and uh, we're just simply going to exit out of here, and we're going to log out, and it should kick in. Let's log out. And here we go. 